Y'all got to see side piece in the last video. It's coming together, guys. Listen, uh, me and Cameron had a talk. We have figured some things out. We are on schedule. We're trying to get things done. I will be leaving to head to Australia because we're shooting another show uh, with 10 other people. Uh, so I'm happy for that. But we got to get back here and we got to get tested and ready for season six of MPK. So Cameron's going to have a lot of, uh, I don't want to say pressure, but a lot on his plate. And he's going to help me out by getting the car to certain places, you know, uh, getting the color put on it, getting it wired, getting it ready. Because when I do return back from Australia, I'm hoping that the car is 100% done, ready to go. Me, me and dad land down here. We can load the new car up. We can take it to the track and we can start shaking it down. But today's video, we are going to be putting our rear center section back in the car. We are also going to be taking this rear tail housing off, this Liberty, because there is uh, a needle bearing set up inside there and it's not allowing the drive shaft to go in. I think one of the needles has fell down and the drive shaft is extremely hard going uh going inside there so you're having to take a hammer and some wood and we're just breaking wood and breaking hammers trying to get it in there so we're going to take that apart uh figure out what we got to do try to get that fixed so the dry shaft to go in there nice and smoothly once we get the rear center section in we'll get it all hooked back up go through change all the fluids in the car got to change uh the engine oil shout out the vp uh they get us set up for all our lubricants and all our oil to be able to run throughout the season and then we'll be able to fire this thing back up because we are going to be testing down in bradenton next week we got the liberty still inside the car we are still going to be testing that deal um y'all did see that we are running a Noonan motor in the other car uh, because I want to test everything. I'm going to test stuff back to back. Basically going to have both cars suited up, ready to go. The Noonan versus the Proline, we're going to figure out which one's faster uh, to be able to run into season six of MPK. So uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a very, very hectic next couple months, very busy couple months. Um, but I'm ready for it. The team's ready for it, and uh, I'm ready to go to chase that championship and try to dethrone uh, Ryan Martin. So that's the game plan. So enough of me talking. Let's roll up to the front of the house. The packages just got delivered. I just got the notification on my phone. Shout out to Quick Performance. Y'all can see them. They got a little banner on the back wall. Uh, we got a new, a bigger one that just came in. We're going to go ahead and hang that one up as well. But shout out to them. They got it set up with a gear very, very fast. We're getting this thing put back together. We're going to fire it up. And we're going to be out testing again soon we had to get some work done on the fenders uh our buddy michael uh he's local to us he does all our you know local paint and body work but he actually went and fixed the fenders um throughout the season there were some areas that we got in where the trailer actually bottomed out on the fender and it broke the fender um and then uh so we had to get that fixed and now he has painted them and he's about to put them back on so he got a quick little pressure wash job in real fast we're gonna go ahead and back the rig back up over underneath the pole barn so he can go ahead and throw these fenders on as you can see he's doing some body work and stuff to the trailer as well uh when we come back out we're hoping to have everything 100 percent nice and clean i don't know how long that'll last um especially with me running uh things and driving everything but uh we're gonna try our hardest to try to keep things clean as best as we can so let's go ahead and move this rig over there real quick and then we'll come back over here as you can see uh we just got our pro line box in and our quick performance box and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start heading to the back of the shop and get parts out and figure out what we gotta do to get this car back up and running see you buddy i feel like a truck driver Dad's even got his own little deal in here. Breaker, breaker. Breaker, breaker. That's so, that's so lame. Hey, listen, if you're a truck driver out there, I apologize. I'm not talking shit about you. But there's no way in hell I could drive down the road and have to sit here and listen to this thing. He put this thing inside here and he don't do nothing but just talk to other drivers while he's going down the road. He loves it, but it just couldn't be me. I could, I could not do it. About to go test again here soon, guys. Uh, we're gonna be heading to Australia. We've been, we've been hitting about that, talking about that. We were one of the ten drivers that got invited to Australia. Um, we come back. We'll be running season six of MPK. We'll have the new car out. We'll have prenup as a backup car. Prenup is also gonna be put on small tires and going to the street. 
Uh, hopefully we get an invite to Fastest in America. Dude, uh, there's a lot of things happening this year. I think this year is going to be my best year. It's going to be my biggest year. And um, I can't do it without y'all. So I do want to thank each and every one of y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all for liking the videos, dropping comments, and keep on sharing it. Uh, but we're going to grow. Uh, my goal is this year is to hit 100,000 subscribers. That, that is the goal. And I'm going to try my hardest to make it happen. So as you see, we're getting some body work done. We are getting some paint laid down on the rig. It's looking awesome. I can't wait to uh, get it completely done, ready to go, all logoed up for this upcoming season. But y'all can see the difference from this side to this side. Hell yeah. And now we're getting the rig backed up in here so he can get the fenders on. Start playing with that, getting that all ready to go. And I'm gonna go over here and see what kind of goodies I got in the box. Before we go ahead and jump into this intersection, we do have a box here from ProLine. I'm not sure what it is because I haven't ordered no parts from them. Um, so it just must be a care package. It does say, uh, well, it says care package for Justin Swanstrom. So, uh, I'll we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up real quick. See what we got going on inside here. Oh, Merry Christmas. So, we got a Merry Christmas card. T Pro Line was as strong as ever in 2022. Our racers, crews, tuners, and all the people at the shop made this year one to remember. Multiple championships, race wins, and world records were achieved. And it is all thanks to this team. Thank you for all that you do. Year after year, Team Pro Line strives to do more, and we expect 2023 to be just as successful. Best wishes of health and happiness to you and your family this holiday season and into the new year to come. Just got this package in today. Uh, guys, we're shooting a YouTube video over here right now, so I will be talking to them. Um, just got this package in today, but before we go ahead and throw the uh, rear gear in the car, we're gonna open it up and see exactly what we got. So it looks like it's a big Christmas tree. Oh, that's all the tuners. Hell yeah, I know a lot of people in there. Yeah, we got we got beanies. Guys, we're coming out with beanies this year too. We got beanies. I don't know what the hell these are. Must be a I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a a tray. Put put your parts in. Put your Put your drink in it. Uh, I got it right here. I like I like jawbreakers, so got it holding for my jawbreakers. We got some shirts. 
Hell yeah, we got long sleeve, short sleeve. They even sent one out for Mama Country. Oh, this, this is what we need right there. So we got shirts. Proline's awesome. Uh, I've, been, I've been with them for two years now. Um, they are a great company to work with. Uh, they, they, they strive to make sure that the customers get what they need. Oh yeah. We even got stickers. I'm hoping I get my Diller Tax sticker in here. I've been I've been waiting on a Diller Tax sticker for for two years now. Maybe I haven't spent enough money yet. Oh, dude, that's bad to the bone. That is. So you can hold parts. Hold. You can hold bolts and nuts. Here you go, haters. I can give this to you. Now you can hold my nuts. Team Proline Accomplishments. I'm just reading off all the accomplishments. I'm on here, I'm on here. Street Outlaw, No Prep Kings winner, Georgia, Texas, uh, Virginia, Tulsa, Justin Swanstrom. Hey, that is badass. I'm not going to lie. It's awesome to be, be on something like this. Shout out to ProLine. Uh, giving us something like that. We're going to get it hung up. We're actually going to make a trophy room here inside the shop. Um, so that's awesome to be on here. Ryan Martin's on here. Uh, there's a lot of heavy hitters on here. Jose Gonzalez. Uh, we got Kevin Rivenbark. Um, there's, there's, some, there's some big, big head Manny Bajinga. Um, let's see who else is on here. Callie Mills is on here. Uh, Paul Scott Tidwell. Wow. Sweet. That's badass. So we got that open. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on over and start taking, uh, or start cleaning, uh, the rear housing. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, throw our rear center section in. Um, shout out to Quick Performance. They got us hooked up. They sent our, uh, our gear back. So we're gonna go ahead and open that box up now. It's a brand new billet center section. I haven't got to see it yet. I am, uh, I'm happy to see it. I can't wait to see it. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and uh, jump in there. But shout out to ProLine Racing. I wanna thank y'all for uh, uh, sending this uh, care package out, sending this deal out. I still want my Diller Tax uh, sticker. I'm gonna have to give uh, Eric Diller a call. Um, he's the owner of ProLine. I, I've been waiting for my Diller Tax sticker for the last two years. Uh, I think now it's time to finally get my sticker. So I want to thank y'all and I want to thank ProLine Racing. All right, so now that we got the stuff out of the way for the ProLine box, again, shout out to ProLine. They are a hell of a company to work with. Uh, quick performance, just got our rear gear sent back. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. This is the first time we're going to get to see this center section. I did move on. Uh, from my old center sections that I had, and now we got a new strange setup. Um, so they got me hooked up, got me set up and ready. Now we just gotta get it out, get everything cleaned up in the housing, and then we're gonna put it inside the car. I don't even know where to start, how to open this thing. I don't, I don't see no crease.
That's how we're going to do it. Got another gasket. Got another gasket. Ah, damn. Whoo! We get it somewhere. Huh. Huh. Let me get some paper towels real quick. Oh, Lordy. Look at that thing right there. Clean this bad boy up. Brand new case, ready to go. I can't show y'all. Can't show y'all what gears we're running. I'm gonna go ahead and take that thing off. Yeah, that thing looks like jewelry. Wow, look at that. Nice and smooth. We got our sensor. Got out right there. Shout out to Quick Performance. Um, they uh, they came back on board again this year. Um, they are doing uh, great things. They are helping me out tremendously, and uh, I, I appreciate everything that they do. We're gonna get this new deal set up inside the car. Get ready to go testing, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to run Pro Mod down at Bradenton Motorsports Park at the end of the month. We uh, unboxed the rear center section. As you can see, that thing is beautiful. Um, now we're gonna come back here to the rear uh, of the car. We did break a gear and it is very messy. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing all cleaned out. Once we do that, get all the silicone cleaned off the housing. I do have to run uptown to grab some silicone because uh, I did use my last little stick I had uh, for, uh, the last gear that we put in. But uh, so we'll run uptown, we'll grab some silicone. When we come back, we'll make sure everything is nice and spotless, cleaned up, use our BP brake cleaner to be able to go through and uh, get everything clean so we can put this center section in the car. And then once we get done with that and that's all done back here, we then will have to work our way to the front take that tail shaft off of that uh, Liberty transmission and uh, go ahead and dive into that thing and see what we got going on. But let's come under here real quick. As you can see, it is very messy. There is stuff all over the place. That all came out from the inside. So it is rough. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this thing up real quick. We do leave the drain plug out. So anything that we squirt down the uh, axle tubes uh, going into the housing, it just falls out and falls right into our pan. And then we'll go ahead and clean our mat and everything up after to be able to get this thing put back together. Don't get the stuff in your eyes. Yeah. No, I mean like you'll, you'll be fucking blinded.
it was very messy but we got everything cleaned up i got new silicone on it it's drying up right now uh we are on we we're on live over there but silicone's drying up we're getting that ready we're about to go grab our center section from quick performance and we're going to throw it in the car and get it ready to go yeah here you can hold this one all right i'm going to set this thing in oh lordy god damn that thing's heavy go on the other side usually we'll take the wishbone out of the car um but don't feel like doing that today so I've never had this intersection in this car, so I'm hoping it fits. It's gotta fit. Oh. Probably should have tested it before. before, uh, you know. <clears throat> I think the studs are just getting hung up on it. I'm gonna drill these holes out real fast. Um, I've had one other case that's done it to me before. It, it lines up, but the, the holes are, they're just too fine. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, drill the case a little bit i've had this issue happen to me before uh we need to go ahead and knock it out real quick because silicone is dry but we're just gonna go through we already drilled it out a little bit but we're gonna open it up just a little bit more so this thing will go on the studs to be able to get it inside the car
All right, guys, so we finally got it in. Um, we did have to drill out the holes. Y'all seen that silicone is drying. Uh, she is puffing out. We got the axles in, everything's good. Only thing we gotta do back here now is uh, fill her up with gear oil. And uh, then we will go ahead and tackle in the next video, our tail shaft of our Liberty transmission. Um, get that all done and then we will go ahead and throw the dry shaft in here, finalize it up by firing the car up. Y'all know the routine, getting it ready, then put it in a trailer um, and uh, getting it uh, getting it sent off so we can go testing next week. Um, thank y'all for watching this video. Uh, we are trying to post more content this year as one of my goals was this year was one, to hit 100,000 subscribers, but two, is to really focus on content this year. So I am gonna try to upload every two days. So make sure y'all's notifications are on and uh, let's, let's keep growing this deal. I couldn't do this without y'all. I wanna thank each and every one of y'all. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. Um, I can't ever say that enough. Y'all changed everything for me and uh, it's, time to, it's time to even turn it up a notch and uh, keep growing and keep getting better. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you smash that like button. So I'll see y'all later. Uh, Next video, we will be uh, tearing the rear of the tail shaft apart on the transmission, getting that fixed up. Also be uh, going around and uh, trying to finalize everything so we can get the car fired up. But I'm Justin Swanstrom, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.